In our previous videos of dental anatomy, we have discussed in detail about the dental anatomy of permanent maxillary first premolar. In this video, we will be elaborating upon the dental anatomy of permanent maxillary second premolar. Watch the video till the end to understand it well. Hi, we at Dentarize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. The permanent maxillary second premolar is the fifth tooth from the median line on the right and the left side in the maxilla. According to the FDI tooth notation system, the right permanent maxillary second premolar is numbered as 1-5 and the left permanent maxillary second premolar is numbered as 2-5. Now let's start with the dental anatomy of permanent maxillary second premolar from five aspects namely the buccal aspect, the lingual aspect, the mesial aspect, the distal aspect and the occlusal aspect. Starting with the buccal aspect considering the first heading that is the dimensions, the cervical occlusal length of the tooth that is the distance from the tip of the cusp till highest point on the cervical line is 8.5 mm. The root length that is the distance from the highest point on the cervical line till the apex of the root is 14 mm. If we talk about the mesodistal dimensions of the crown then the mesodistal dimensions at the crest of contour is 7 mm and the mesodistal dimension at the cervix is 5 mm. If you observe closely the dimensions of a permanent maxillary second premolar are similar to the dimensions of permanent maxillary first premolar. The dental anatomy of permanent maxillary second premolar is very much similar to the anatomy of permanent maxillary first premolar except for few differences. Therefore, it is always the best approach to study this tooth by differentiating it from the first premolar. Therefore, except for the features which are same, the differences are the buccal cusp in a permanent maxillary second premolar is less pointed than that of the buccal cusp of permanent maxillary first premolar. Also, the buccal cusp of this tooth has less length than first premolar. In some cases, the crown and the root are thicker at the cervical portions in this tooth. Now coming to the most important and the key feature of this tooth. In a permanent maxillary first premolar, the mesial slope is greater in dimension than the distal slope. However, this is not the case in a permanent maxillary second premolar wherein the mesial slope is shorter in dimension than the distal slope. This is completely opposite to that of the first premolar. Also, the buccal ridge in a permanent maxillary second premolar is not as prominent as that of a permanent maxillary first premolar. So, summarizing the buccal aspect for you, the buccal cusp is less pointed in a permanent maxillary second premolar than that of the first premolar. The mesial slope of the buccal cusp is shorter in dimension than that of the distal slope. The buccal ridge of a permanent maxillary second premolar is less prominent than that of the permanent maxillary first premolar. Now let's discuss about the lingual aspect of this tooth. From the lingual aspect, the lingual cusp in a permanent maxillary second premolar is longer in length than the lingual cusp of permanent maxillary first premolar which makes the crown longer on the lingual side. Please observe the difference in the length of lingual cusp of both the teeth on the screen. It is very well evident in the figure. Now coming to the mesial aspect if we consider the dimensions. The buccolingual dimensions at the crest of contour is 9 mm while the buccolingual dimension at the cervix is 8 mm. If you observe closely these dimensions are similar to the dimensions of permanent maxillary first premolar. Now we already know that the lingual cusp of a permanent maxillary second premolar is greater in length than the lingual cusp of permanent maxillary first premolar. This implies in the second premolar, the buccal cusp and the lingual cusp are more nearly the same length. Because of this same length, the distance between the cusp tip of the buccal cusp and the lingual cusp increases and this widens the occlusal surface buccolingually. Please observe the figure very carefully to understand this difference between the two teeth very well. Now coming to the most important point, the presence of deep developmental groove crossing the mesial marginal ridge is a very characteristic feature of permanent maxillary first premolar. However, in a permanent maxillary second premolar, no such deep developmental groove crossing the mesial marginal ridge is evident. It is a very important point to differentiate between these two teeth. 
the presence of mesial developmental depression is the second characteristic feature in the anatomy of permanent maxillary first premolar however in the permanent maxillary second premolar no developmental depression is evident on the mesial surface of the crown but a shallow developmental groove is present in the root coming to the distal aspect if we talk about the anatomy of permanent maxillary first premolar the distal root depression is less deep than that of the mesial depression however this is completely opposite in a permanent maxillary second premolar wherein the distal root depression is deeper than that of the mesial depression additionally the curvature of cervical line on the distal aspect of permanent maxillary second premolar is less than that of the mesial aspect of this tooth please observe the figure very carefully now coming to the occlusal aspect if we talk about the overall outline of permanent maxillary first premolar from the occlusal aspect it resembles a six sided hexagonal figure and thus is more angular however the outline of the crown of permanent maxillary second premolar is more rounded or oval rather than being angular the second difference lies in the grooves the central developmental groove of a permanent maxillary second premolar is shorter and more irregular than the central developmental groove of permanent maxillary first premolar it is very well evident in the figure secondly supplementary grooves are absent on the occlusal surface of permanent maxillary first premolar thus giving the occlusal surface a very smooth appearance however multiple supplementary grooves are present on the occlusal surface of permanent maxillary second premolar thus giving the occlusal surface a very irregular or a wrinkled appearance these supplementary grooves start from the central groove and then may terminate in shallow depressions in the enamel or may at times extend to the cusp ridges as well please observe the figure very carefully thus we describe the anatomy of permanent maxillary second premolar by differentiating it from permanent maxillary first premolar rest all the features are same if you like our content please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video suggestions are always welcome from your side stay tuned stay safe thank you for watching